What's going on, everybody? Game Stages bringing you Paper Mario Color Splash. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. This game's gonna suck, and that's what we think too, right? Yes, I honestly think it's going to be awful because Paper Mario Sticker Star is my least favorite game of all time. I uh, I would back up that reference. I would not bash because I mean that is a terrible game. It's so bad. And we both adore Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, so that was probably the most disappointing thing. I ever. adored, I adored, I adored them all at this, uh, the Thousand Year Door. I adored Super Paper Mario and everything, man. Like they were all really, oh, yeah, really good. It was a good. phenomenal. Yeah. series before Sticker Star and it just ruined it for us and we went on the same day to GameStop to return Paper Mario Sticker Star because we were disgusted to have it in our house. Couldn't even bear having it in the house. Like it, I, I just wanted to give him back their money, man. Like it just, it was not, it was just so bad. And the trailer started coming out for this game and then we realized, oh crap, it's just, it's Sticker Star 2. But we figured we'd uh, give it a shot. So here we so, are. Let's get let's get started. You know, it can't be worse than Sticker Star. It just can't. Let's hope not. All right, the first cutscene. Let's let's hope this impresses because literally nothing about Sticker Star impressed me. Uh, it looks really good. Oh god, the graphics are amazing. Yeah. It's definitely the best looking Paper Mario game. I can give it that much. Mhm. Mm and uh, just just look at that. Look at the detail on Mario right now. <laughs> Like his, his mustache is actually brown instead of black and gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's always been like that in Paper Mario, though, if I'm not mistaken. It's always been like, you know, like the same color as his hair, unlike in like other Mario games. Like in Mario Sunshine, his mustache is black for whatever reason. Yeah. His, his hair, hair is, is brown. brown. It is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Ludicrous. <laughs> Come on, Nintendo. I mean, that, that is just like, why, Nintendo? Mm -hmm. Why do you need to have a black mustache? I'm sure there's a statement out there about it uh, for some uh, of some sort you know yeah probably I mean, there has to be a reason mm -hmm. i think it is to uh to stick true to the original game if i'm not mistaken because he had a black mustache yeah. yeah i think that's legit why they do it mm -hmm. but don't quote me on that right but anyway we've already seen more plot than was in paper mario sticker star i'm happy with that like i mean color uh sticker star worst plot worst gameplay yeah. worst everything literally it was just like you're doing a sticker festival oh no bowser's bowser stole stuff and now go. <laughs> yeah. But. Well, uh, I think this kind of is going to remind everybody of the Thousand Year Door here. It is, say? yes. Look at this opening here. That is literally picture perfect to the Thousand Year Door's opening. Like, for real. Like, they had to know what they were doing here. Yeah. If y'all haven't picked up by now, I'm, uh, we have we have done this before. We've yes. Had, we've had a failed failed recording of this. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, let's get going with this story. You want to? Guys, we're here. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Spot on. So this is the famous Fort Prisma. It's so peaceful and quiet. Really quiet. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is everybody? Oh, the toe voice right. hurts. <laughs> I'll do Peach. Princess Peach. Does she really need an introduction? Everybody yeah, for knows real. Who Peach we don't is. need any. Come on. Ah, it's nice to be on dry land again. We have come to the right place, haven't we? Port Prisma. Uh, I guess. I thought it was supposed to be a tourist destination. It seems a little quiet, don't you think? Toad just said that. Yeah. Yeah, weird. I even let them know we were coming. You would think they prepare a warmer welcome for Princess Peach and the world famous Mario. Shut up, Toad. <laughs> Speaking of Mario, what's he doing? Mario, we're here. Come on out. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, he's all crumpled up, man. Ugh. Oh, that was quite a storm last night, wasn't it? You poor thing. Ha! Ah, you look like a used gun wrapper. Jesus, Toad. Eye yourself out, man. Calm down. Come on, Toad. Be a little courteous. <laughs> oh, looks like I have to jump here. And Mario. Once again, <laughs> why in the world... Do we need an introduction? My grandma yeah. knows who Mario is. <laughs> I think everybody does. There's, <laughs> there's no way someone doesn't know. There's my Mario. Much better. Ooh, my Mario. Give him a kiss on the nose. <laughs> you tease. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me just take another look at this letter. Oh, I just can't bear to think about what I'm really holding. A folded up colorless toad corpse. Yeah, it's a toad corpse. <laughs> <laughs> the only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. So they emailed him. Well, they emailed <laughs> Tup. Peach, a toad corpse. That is probably the darkest thing they've <laughs> ever done in Mario. They That's... sucked his soul out and mailed him the corpse. And now Peach has just folded him up and <laughs> put it and put it in her back pocket and just keeps it with her. No remorse whatsoever. All yeah. right. Not to worry, Princess. I've read the book Prince of Guy from cover to cover. Well, wander ahead to Prince of Fountain in the center of town. It's a famous tourist attraction. 
run there. Maybe we'll run into some locals who can help us. The Toad Boys, I just can't anymore. You can stop. My voice okay. just stopped. You can do it. Uh, sounds like a plan. Stan? Stan. <laughs> but I've got a bad feeling about this place. Let's proceed with caution. Proceed with caution because there's so much going on here. All right, and it feels like classic Paper Mario. I love just walking it, around. It does. The controls feel tight. They feel really good. They do feel tight. They feel Thousand Year Door esque. Yeah. And Sticker Star did look great and control great. So really, it's not done anything yet that Sticker Star hasn't. Yeah. So Toad is saying, "What's up on that box?" And what looks like a sticker is, thank <laughs> God, not a sticker. Not a sticker. It is just the hammer. If we, it was uh, a sticker. Me and Austin both like almost, you know, screamed to the top of our lungs when we first saw it because we were like, not the stickers. Yes, we, we thought it was because we have seen nothing of this game. Had we not had a failed recording, this would be 100% blind. Had we not have started this channel, this would not have been happening. <laughs> yeah, oh God, I would have never looked at this game nope, had we either. never started this channel. Me either. But now we get a chance to experience it and uh, see if it's good and not be biased because of other yeah. reviews. Well, crap. we're trying to not be biased anyway. We it's are. It's hard not to be. Obviously, we're a little bias because of how horrible sticker star is and the fact that it's similar to sticker star automatically gives us a little bit of a bias towards it but yeah. i mean we just can't help that that is literally ingrained into our soul mm -hmm. to hate anything sim similar to sticker star i think i think we have better a better chance to really like you know kind of enjoy it though since we haven't really seen any reviews or anything uh-huh you know well, anyway this place looks dead yes it is uh colorless if you will <gasps> Good look, at, one. <laughs> look at all these spots on the ground <coughs> yeah. i just want to color them in i wonder if we can color them later <laughs> we can splash a little color color wow, splash this is a real ghost town it is this can't be right are you sure this is prisma fountain toad according to my guidebook the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy so um yeah this doesn't seem right i'll take a look around and see if i can find someone you do that toad yep. be useful for once you go off by yourself there's no mistake in the postmark on this poor toad. He was definitely a male from poor Prisma. But who could have done such a thing? Probably uh, your worst enemy. Yeah, some serial <laughs> killer who is way worse than any enemy you've ever faced. <laughs> because he is literally insane, it looks like. <laughs> That's like past Bowser, you would think. You know? Yeah, oh god, definitely. Bowser's Kill. really not done nothing. Yeah, really real. too horrible. Look at that. Some kind of device just rose from out of the found fountain. <laughs> Maybe you should take a closer look at it. All right. Just have me do everything, princess. Yeah, that we will. In a case of emergency, activate the three switches hidden in the plaza. Blue hit, yellow pull, and red jump. Not going to lie, this took us a little bit longer than it should have first time around. It took us about, what, five minutes <laughs> Probably, the first time? Yeah. But since, Half of an episode. Yeah, but since we have done it, to, uh, what, five or six times by now? Yeah. Like, I literally, I can't stand this first <laughs> level anymore. The failed I recordings have been real. So. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. I didn't really want to say it on here, but I guess it will anyway. We've done this probably five times. Yeah. At, at least it, five times. It is embarrassing, but I mean, I don't want to fake a reaction and pretend yeah. like I'm experiencing this blind, but mm. I'm not. After we get through the second level, we're going to be completely blind. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Because here at Game Stages, we're honest with you. We're we don't try honest. to BS you. Yeah. So, anyway, here comes your worst enemy. You oh thought Navi was bad? Well, me, <laughs> Paint Bucket. For real, this is probably the most annoying character in all of Mario. For real. I mean, from what we've experienced, anyway. Yeah. Huh, is that a paint can? No, it kind of looks like one. I mean, Peach, uh, interesting <laughs> observation there, Peach. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just hit it with your hammer, and I knew to do that because we are pros at this first level. Yep. And this is Huey. Ow, what was that for? How would you like if I whacked you with a hammer while you were sleeping? Huey has a Boston accent. Yeah. <laughs> We're so sorry. It's just that we thought you were a pig. <laughs> oh, sorry. Breaking monster energy gives me the burps. So we tried to open you up. A paint can? You think I'm just some regular paint can? You're a paint can with uh with eyes and you can float, but besides that, <laughs> a completely Normal regular paint, paint can. can. <laughs> anyway, now that I'm awake, you want to grab a burger or something? Mm. Your treat. Big Billy Burger. The Flash. If you watch The Flash, you're the man or woman, because that show's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Oh, um, we're actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from your town. It was a corpse. Yeah. <laughs> you say, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Only it's not an ordinary letter. It's a toad. Corpse. <laughs> Drain of color and postmarked from Port Prisma. I feel like he would be like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> say, Are you kidding me? <laughs> you gotta call the police. That is messed up, man. <laughs> we shouldn't mess with this guy. Oh, look here. And this is my friend, Mario. Ooh, Dude, that's terrible. He just got Dr. Strange. How many times has he saved? Yeah, for real. Dr. Strange. Let's bring that back up. Dr. Strange, man. Christine. Scene on Doctor Strange. 
Oh, uh, it, it, it is a great movie, but like, why not kiss Doctor Strange on the lips? Wouldn't kiss Doctor Strange on the lips. Doctor Strange can do anything, man. He's a magic man. Yes, I mean, she she kind of gave him the cold shoulder, but I guess he was kind of mean to her. Yeah, but he first. totally changed his ways. Yeah, for real. He was like a wizard, and he came mm -hmm. back and was just like doing wizard crap, yeah, and she was like, real. kiss on the cheek for yeah. the Princess Peach. If I met a dude who could do all that crap, I'd be like, be my best friend. Yeah, forever. for real. It's a, it would be the coolest guy I've ever met. But anyway, speaking of cool things, next episode is probably going to be pretty cool when we go and find that toad. So we will see you next time on Game Sages. Boom.